I am able to configure a SIP trunk on my COMEX by navigating to the trunks panel of the COMEX GUI. I can then say add SIP provider and configure all of the fields. By default, my, uh, my, my SIP trunk is set to register with the provider. However, I can also switch to act as a provider if that is preferential. If I'm going to register with the provider, let's quickly talk through these fields. The outbound caller ID field allows you to set a particular DID which will be presented to anybody receiving a call from this trunk. However, you actually have to lease this DID from your SIP provider, otherwise they may remove it from the SIP messages and people receiving a call from this trunk may be presented with a private number or no DID at all. The name of the trunk is filled in the name field, and that is essential, with an optional description added to it. My SIP server My SIP server is configured to be my SIP host and needs to feature either a URL or an IP address. Finally, my username and my password need to match the username and the password set up on my SIP server. If I were to act as the provider, then my peer's username and password would have to match the password I set as well as the name set on my, on my SIP server. If I enable identify by username, then IP addresses are no longer used to identify the SIP peers and rather the from user field will be, will be used for identification purposes and should be populated with the username. Finally, codex can be added by navigating to the codex tab, selecting the codex button and right clicking several options and saying accept. I am then able to move these codex up or down based on my preferences and those of my provider as to which one should be selected first in codec negotiations. I can then accept and apply my changes 